Hey guys, Brandon here from Roost. I'm the head of customer education. And today we're gonna to walk through the platform to give you an overview of what we're working with here. All right, so first we're gonna start with the two menus here. So we have the menu on the left and we have the menu at the top here. All right, you'll see here I am in the Cluck U or Cluck University organization here. I'm on the dashboard. And the dashboard here has a number of uh, different elements here to give us certain information, such as an overview of how many workflows we've run, successful, error, pending, delayed, etc., integrations that need attention, workflow activity, pending tasks, and the time saved here. I want to highlight this here because this is important for seeing how much time your workflows are saving you. All right, you can see that for today, past seven days, one month, six months, and 12 months. At the top, we have a number of different options here. So we have the little question mark here. If I click on this, I will see that this takes me to roost.help where you can find our documentation and training resources. You may actually be here right now in the training academy. If I come back here, we also have the feedback option. If you want to give some specific feedback, you can go ahead and click on this here. We have the notification bell here, which will show us any notifications for workflows. And we have our account where you can do settings, invite new users, dark mode, which I recommend. And then of course, logging out and getting help. So that's at the top here at the right. Next, we have the left menu. This is gonna be our bread and butter. I'll go through all of these options and then I wanna focus in a little bit on automations because I think this is really important uh, for you to know. This is probably where you'll spend most of your time. So we'll start with automations here. This is where we can build out our workflows, forms, results for the workflows and then build out templates and scripts. Templates and scripts provide more advanced features for your workflows. Uh, if you wanna build out an email template with the Jinja Markdown language, you wanna build out some scripts, PowerShell scripts, Jinja scripts, and you can add those into your workflows as well. This is where you would use this. Then we have crates and crates. Let me click into the crate marketplace here are essentially pre-built forms and workflows that you can install. So right now we have an indication of maturity and if you come down to the bottom, you'll see more mature crates uh, that you can use for things like changing a user's password, creating inbound connectors, et cetera, et cetera. There's some fun crates in here too, like tracking Steam sales, for example. So you can go ahead and take a look at these. And if you see a use case that is particularly valuable for you, you can go to walk through the installation for these. Next, we have configuration. This is where you have your integrations organization variable setup. Some of these integrations may have already been installed for you, but if you want to install any other integrations in the future, you can come here, click on this, fill out the appropriate information and go from there. And we have tools. Tools gives us access to the Jinja Live Editor, which allows us to basically write out Jinja and see the results. And then we have settings at the bottom here. And settings is uh, where you can add users, user invites, uh, organizations, et cetera. All right, so let's jump back to automations. I'll look at the forms here. If I were to add a form here, you'll see what forms are available. I can add a form, you can type in a form name. So I'll just do test and submit. All right, and it will open up the form for me and I'll see that I can add a number of different fields. So in future videos, we'll take a look at how you can build new forms and how you can use them with your workflows. But this is the form builder here. And then I wanted to click on workflows as well. And I'll just click into a workflow here so we can see the canvas. This is the Hello World workflow. We have another video for that as well if you wanna go build your first workflow. But what we'll see here is the canvas for our workflow and then all of the integrations available to us where we can use actions. So if we want to build an automation that does different things with our different integrations, then we can do that here. And finally, the last thing that I want to look at here in the automation section is results. And results is going to show us what workflows have failed, succeeded. You can go ahead and click into here and troubleshoot and identify what happened and provide a solution so that it succeeds. All right, so that's it for this video. Just wanted to give you guys an overview of Roost. 
with the different menus. Keep in mind this left menu here. Don't forget this guy here up at the right as well, especially the roost.help for uh, our documentation. And if you need any additional help, we have some additional resources available to you, such as our Rock Open Mic every Friday. We have a Rock AMA on Thursdays that you can sign up for, and of course, our Discord. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.